All right, today uh, we are going to continue from where we stopped in our tutorial or spring uh, in our Spring Boot tutorial for 2019. I'd like to thank you for viewing. I'd also like to remind you to subscribe uh, to my channel. And if you subscribe, you kind of motivate me to continue making these lessons. If you have any question, leave it there be, uh, below in the comment box. And also, if you this has been informative for you, please share. And then uh, uh, let's continue from the next lesson at this time. So I want to actually write a REST controller that is going to return a list of users, a list of posts, and a list of locations. So this is a procedure again. All the procedures are here. So list of users will write a function that is going to return list of users in the API. For now, we have not connected to a database. So list users will be hard-coded. So we are going to use new to create new uh, hard-coded list of users. All right, so let's take all this. Let's go to now. Let's write. We are going to write this in the user controller file. Uh, after I'm going to tell you how it relates to the our service business service classes. So just open user controller.java if you have created it, and let's let's write a function that is going to run and return a list of users. So let's call it public uh, list list of user and it's going to return all users get all get all users okay all right so this function is going to return list of users so now instead of typing it out i've created it as a couple of users here about two two users so i'm going to just copy and paste it in there control v all right so this is important. Uh, this okay, fine. Again, I'm going to now return uh, li this list as an array list as an array. So I'm going to just fix it here. Control V. Okay. So let's see what is actually happening here. So I'm going to make a little space. So okay, there's a little error here. So import from TTL. This is an array, so I'm going to import it from java.util as well. So here I'm creating user user one is equal to new user has a new user have an ID, a first name, last name, a location, and user two also the same thing. And I'm going to return these two items as an array list and add them to as a list or as an array and add it to. Uh, the, the list. So these two users are added to this list, and I'm going to simply return it. All right. So we are going to now add a request mapping that shows that if we the user if a user goes to the browser and makes a request to the slash users URL, is going to get this list. So this is a request mapping. I've added it there. So I'm going to do this. So basically, this is how to add uh, the controller method that returns a list of users. So of course, this should be clear to you by now. So I'm going to start this application again, and then we are going to run it and try to check how it works. So I'm going to run as a Spring Boot app. So, so everything starts up. So wait for a couple of seconds, it starts up everything. For some reason, I'm not seeing the console, but uh, okay. So the console window is not showing up. Okay, so you can see the console here. So you simply to drag a little bit off so you can see. So everything is running. Okay, so I'm going to go to slash users and see if it's going to return this uh, list of users. So let me just make space on this one. So I'm going to come here and say users. So you can see it returned list of users in a JSON format. So everything is working perfectly. So the next thing I'm going to do is to simply go and write the the, the method for the to return locations. And also a list of posts. So let me start with list of 
posts. So I'm going to just copy this instead of writing it out all over again. So let me just reduce the size of this good cell. So I'm going to start from here, copy it all the way down to the end. Copy it and then in this case I'm going to put it in the post uh, post controller. That is what you should do as well. Alright, so I'm going to take all this because I so again to this. Mm -hmm. So everything is fine. Mm -hmm. List posts. Okay, so at this point, uh, so let's correct all of this. Let's correct this one as well. Import user. Okay. All right, so request mapping. Import request mapping. That is fine. So in this case, we fix up everything. So all the errors are gone and that is very fine. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to go down to do for the locations as well. So in this case, I'm going to copy these for the locations, copy for the locations and I'm going to go to location controller and I'm going to just paste it there. And I'm going to also correct everything. Okay, so. Yeah, everything is fine. So we have user locations and post. Everything has been set up. So we can get list of uh, all locations, all users, and all uh, posts from our social API. So I'm going to run this application and let's test all these things together. So run us, Spring Boot up, and I'm going to just make room so that we see the the our outputs. So let's go back here and then check what is happening. So let's test it now. I'm going to come to uh, localhost uh, port 8080 and I'm going to first go to users, everything is working. This time I'm going to go to posts. You can see a list of posts, everything is working as well. So let's try locations, locations. So you can see everything is working. Uh, there are a list of three, three locations out there. So basically, we've added the the the, the method to return list of items. The, all the get method to return list of items. <coughs> so in the next tutorial, we now add a method to return an item based on the ID. So more like a get by ID uh, method that we are going to add. I would like to thank you for viewing and. We'll see you in the next tutorial.